assume this thing is recording. Not that I'm the most technically competent person on the planet. Um, I am making this recording for my Patreon page. Thank you. Um, I have a lot of reasons to be thankful already. Not that I'm that kind of person. I am sitting here in my little crazy glasses. Probably be going off to college in a bit. And yes, I am a college student, as is my husband and my daughter. All three of us started college this past fall at the same time. And I'm starting college at an age when most people are giving up on life and packing it in and getting ready to die, making their little bucket lists and funeral plans and all of that nonsense. I don't believe that's the way things ought to be. And I'm going to try through science and art and all of the above to pave a new way. I'm aware of individuals like Aubrey de Grey and Elizabeth Parrish, who's the first person to be treated uh, genetically for aging, to get genetic mods. And I paint, I write, I sing, I dance, I play flute in the Stanley Community Band, I s sing in the Stanley Community Chorale. I mean, there's nothing I haven't done or can't do other than earn a living for some reason. I mean, most artists have trouble with that. If you study art history, a great deal of um, what's part of the history of a given artist is their struggles to meet the basic needs of uh, life, food, clothing, and shelter. Let alone, I uh, have the um, resources to do something truly meaningful. And my husband, he's a polymath, a brilliant genius. He has developed his own system of logic, but he does not want to unveil it to the world until he has his PhD in math. And that's why we, because we're on Social Security, we were finally able to get funding in the way of Pell Grants to go back to school. He wants his PhD in math. I want mine in biology or the arts or both, preferably. And I'm going to use my ability to write, draw, paint, sing, dance, act, create, anything and everything to um, change my reality and everyone else's. And I thank anyone who goes on this trip with me, and it will be a trip, because I'm an outrageous person. I have made an entire lifetime shtick out of doing the outrageous. I've done stand-up comedy, performed twice at the Roanoke Comedy Club. But again, it's hard to get, break into anything when you're someone as peculiar as I am. But I'm going to have to overcome being too peculiar to get by in life because if you cannot express yourself in life and get out there and contribute something and then get rewards for those contributions, then you will die on the side of the road, so to speak. And I can't do that. I mean, my husband and I, we do not have degrees, either of us. But before we retired, he made a six-figure income as a systems analyst, full-stack programmer. But then, as most people do, he got pretty much shafted by his employer of 12 years. I guess they saw he was getting close to retirement age. And they gave him the axe, but he was never treated well. He was only treated well in about um, one position he ever had. Other than that, he was just treated like dirt. Programmers are artists, too. And they get basically used and abused and then tossed away, as do most artists. And I'm hoping that we can together change all of that. So I thank everyone, everyone who goes on this trip with me, minions, henchmen, sidekicks. We were partners in crime. Thanks.